Hey everyone, I'm finally on the plane. Emirates, we're flying out of JFK. The flight's scheduled to leave at 11. Currently it's 10.30, so still got. It. So we've just arrived. It's eight o'clock in Dubai. And how hot is it? 30 something uh, degrees Celsius, but 30, uh, I don't know what that means in Fahrenheit. So he's getting it for me. <laughs> what is that in Fahrenheit? <laughs> it's probably uh, 100. Somewhere around uh, almost about 90, 95. 95 400. degrees. I gotta get off this plane. 12 hours is too much. Through the immigration line, almost there. I can feel the heat. Not quite yet. It's actually air conditioned in here. But right now it is. 98 degrees and looking forward to it so believe it or not i thought that the stipulation that the fact that my last name is ahmed would not count here in dubai but apparently it did because immigration pulled me over and they said i gotta go to the special immigration table but guess what guys we in getting through check-in You're kidding. Yeah, Bilkul. So there's the door. Here's me. We're out in Dubai. It's 100 degrees. All the cabs are pink. Check this out. Dubai living. It's hot. <laughs> and it's it's nighttime right now. It's nine o'clock and it's hot. <laughs> the sun's not out yet. So like I said, public service announcement. Anybody who's overweight, stay out of Dubai in the summer, come in the winter. That's it. heard do Dubai don't do Dubai live Dubai so currently we're sitting in a cab on our way to the Burj Khalifa now this is the tallest skyscraper in the whole world standing at almost 3,000 feet tall it's got 160 floors and I'm gonna take you guys to the 120th I hope you're ready let's do this Dun -dun -dun -dun. Made it. We're here. Bentley. Dubai. Dubai is lit. They got a freaking aquarium in a mall. Big fish tank. Big fish tank. With sharks. Lots of sharks. So basically to get to the Burj Khalifa, which was actually called Burj Dubai when it was initially built in 2009, changed in 2010 would be to walk through the mall. And to walk through the mall takes about 20 minutes because Dubai has so many malls. And they're all big and nice. 
Lost my partner in crime. There he is. Hey, Shake, how many times have you been to Burj Khalifa? Uh, five times. Five times? Yeah. Thanks for taking me, man. I appreciate it. And all the YouTube viewers, actually, because we're all going to the top together. It's official. We're in. Got the tickets. Ready world. Just so you guys know, next time you see me, I'll be touching the clouds. So here's the situation world. You basically walk out of these, and then you end up... Everything is glass. Everything is glass. And believe it or not, it's open. It's wide open. There's the rest of the bridge. Let's see some views. I know you guys want to see some views. Let's see how this looks. It's kind of scary. Look at that. That's Dubai, people. Coming to you from the 125th floor. This is the south side. We're going to take a walk over on the north side. Wow, the breeze up here is phenomenal. <laughs> so the north side's a little windier. So I apologize if you guys can't hear me, but I want to show you the water. I want you guys to see how it looks. Another guy with the selfie stick. It always makes me feel good. It doesn't make me feel weird. There's Dubai. And right there's the water. Those buildings look like toys from here. And remember, we're not at the top yet. Now you're looking out of the Burj Khalifa from the north. Absolutely beautiful. So being on the 125th floor means that, if you see that, it still goes up. It actually goes to 160, but nobody's getting up there unless you're a shake or you got a lot of dough, which I have neither. Get one look good world because we're gonna head to the next destination, which is Mall of Emirates. So take a look at this. Here we are, Burj Khalifa, 125th floor. It's popping.
Vic again. Just want to give you a quick over the top view of the Dubai Fountain. And there she sits there. We're looking at it from 120 floors up. And we're going to check it out shortly. Let's go. You guys wouldn't believe right now. You're looking at it. 102. It's hot. But at the same time, it's Dubai. It's a desert. We're following Mr. Ahmed and we're heading to would be Mall of Emirates. They got a bunch of signs, both in English and in Arabic. Still don't know where we're going. Well, we'll take some escalators, I guess. And a three, two, one, yeah. Hey guys, back in the cab again. We're heading to the Mall of the Emirates. It is 2.4 million square feet total space and believe it or not it's got an indoor mountain yes in the desert you'll see hey guys we're here ski dubai you need a pass we gotta go get a pass we don't have one yet because we didn't buy it Ski Dubai. It's already cold in here. But I want to just show the viewers what it kind of looks like. That you're in the middle of a desert and no joke, there's literally a mountain. You know what I mean? Mountain and snow. And it's 102 out. I'm not even kidding. I'll walk you guys over here. How you doing, brother? I just want to take a look at the snow real quick. Thank you. Got the approval from my man. So this is what we're dealing with here, guys. Literally a snow land. They've got snow tubing, skiing, chairlifts, bobsledding, and even skiing. Right now, it's currently negative four degrees in there. That's cold. That's Pennsylvania. Hey guys, so I am sitting at a TGI Fridays, and believe it or not, it's right next to the chairlift. As you guys can see, it's up there. And then also is the ski pool. And as you can see, people are floating by. If you keep watching, you'll see kids just keep coming one by one. They're getting dragged and they're going down the mountain in Dubai. I swear, I'm not making this up. That's why I recorded it, so you guys can't say that I'm lying. You better not say I'm lying, because here in the flesh, ski Dubai.
Dubai living at its finest in the Mall of Emirates. But you look good in Dubai. You should stay in Dubai. Me and Shake are moving to Dubai. Make room, other shakes. <laughs> Give you a bird's eye view of the first floor level, second floor, and believe it or not, we got a third floor. Beautiful construction. Dubai legit killed it with their construction. One. Hey, so like I said earlier, the Mall of the Emirates was built in 2005. It's a total of 2.4 million square feet. There's over a thousand stores, a hundred restaurants. This is the place to be. Mall of the Emirates. Chanel. Oh, yeah. They got that. They got Coach. And they got Louis. You've heard of baller life, there's beller life. A lot, a lot of beautiful girls in Dubai. I was just telling the world that there's a lot of beautiful girls in Dubai. the place to be if you're Muslim and you're single. Get it, you Marsi Miljata. He's saying that you can get it from this mart or should we walk over there? Yes, there's a full-on convenience store, giant, slash food line, slash shop right, slash pathmark, in the mall, in the Mall of Emirates. The biggest thing that I love about Dubai is that if you guys see here, this is a grocery store that's in front of me. The problem is Walmart needs to really learn and take tips from these guys because they have 60 lanes and I have not counted one that is closed yet. We're at lane 57. I'm gonna zoom up so that we can see because there's more than one lane. You see that number? 58, even 58 has a nice lady waiting for you to take your money. 64, 67. You got 67 lanes, all lanes are open. Come on Walmart, get with the program. Hey, we're heading to Burj Al Arab now. It's uh, one of Dubai's most luxurious hotels. The average cost for the Royal Suite is about $24,000 per night. That's US dollars, not dirham. That's totally different. That would be a hundred and something thousand. I can't even do the math right now. But the uh, hotel was built in 99. It's one of the fifth tallest hotels in the world. We're about to take a look. The Burj Al Arab. 
with its own helipad. Yes, that's right. A hotel with a helipad. Looking at the sunset. I'm at the uh, Burj Al Arab. And I know this is kind of not on the itinerary, but I did want to make a pit stop. And I did want to make this apparent because Dubai is one of the only places that I know that land has no boundaries. So if there isn't the land, they'll create it. And I want to kind of give you guys a small example of how that's done. If you guys look at what I'm standing behind me, you see all those rocks there, that big pile of rocks right there. And then that other crane with those big piles. So basically what they're doing is they're taking the land that's currently there and they're expanding it to do some construction. Now what they basically do is they pour rocks, dirt, sand into the water to make an island. <laughs> Leave it to the bite, man. Seriously. That's awesome. You guys can see that right there. That's an actual ship that's carrying stone that's gonna be dumping it to basically expand that road to become an island that will soon become some kind of construction and more properties. Jumeirah Beach, my friends. And there's the beautiful Burj Al Arab. On to the next. Guys, I had to bring you back one more time. I'm in downtown Dubai and wanted to see how the Burj Khalifa looks at night. Let me try to get in a little darker spot so you can see this. It's beautiful. Hey guys, I'm here standing in front of the Burj Khalifa and we're actually 10 minutes away from experiencing the world's largest dancing fountain. I'm talking about jets that shoot up 500 feet in the air on this 30 acre man-made lake. They run every 30 minutes. It follows a theme. It's either classical, Arabic, some kind of music theme along with lights. Of course, you guys saw the Burj Khalifa, how they light it up at night. It's beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. But with the water jets, it adds so much stuff that it literally, literally blows your mind. Let's check it out. 